everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the brand new Monster High Mummy Majesties brand new Clio and Nephora set. So stay tuned as we take a quick look at the box, the details, the dolls. We are going to get these out. Um, and as always, I do want to know what you guys think of this, in my opinion, amazing new set. Alrighty, so yes, this set was leaked a while ago and with every leak that there is, slew of unsolicited opinions were given. Uh, a lot of negativity towards this set, which is unfortunate because I do look at this as uh, Monster High attempting to bring back the G1 collectors and giving us G1 dolls and people complain regardless. <laughs> um, I, for one, am grateful that we got another, another uh, Nephora because I only have the core doll and the Boo York, Boo York doll. Um, so to have another one is great, and I love Cleo. She's my third favorite in the Monster High lineup. So um, I, I was just like, no. <laughs> Everyone was saying G2, G2. Anyways, whatever. Again, these were 60 bucks from Mattel and every other retailer. They do come in a pretty cool collector box here, so we'll take a quick look at that before we do get them out of the box. Uh, you can see here it does say Mummy Majesties. We have Cleo Denial and her Mummy Wrap, Nephra Denial and her Mummy Wrap, a monster high there at the top. There is a window here at the top as well, so you can kind of look down. On the back is a beautiful photograph of both sisters looking iconic. If you do want to pause and read it here, you certainly can. It is in a few different languages. And of course, here is the English, and I believe that's French. I don't know. I don't speak other languages. I am so terrible at that. Um, and then if... I don't know if these are going to be available in stores or not, but they might be. Um, so if you're looking for them at, like, maybe Walmart... There you go. I just, I don't know if they're going to be there or not, but I do love this metallic look to it. Um, and then also you can see the background is Egypt, which I think is so cool. So we've got some palm trees, um, some, um, like a structure back there, and then just some really, really cool looking other, like there's Hisset. <laughs> I love it. Um, other just little aspects of Egypt and the culture. I love like the lotus flowers are down there. And if you can kind of see those, really, 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 really well done. So um, yep, there's the pyramids. <laughs> so anyhow, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get these two dolls out of the box and we'll start to really dig into their details. All right, so I do have these two leading ladies out of the box. First, of course, we will take a quick look at their certificate of authenticity. So there you go. If you wanna pause and read it there, you certainly can. And now, of course, we're going to take a look at the dolls. So I did try and pose them very similar to how they are on the back of the box. That took some doing, but, you know. <laughs> First, we're going to take a look at Cleo. So, of course, thankfully, they do come with the normal, regular, good old Monster High stands. It would have been nice to have something a little more um, collector-ish, I guess. But at least we got a stand, right? There are pluses, <laughs> there are pluses and minuses all around in all situations. Now on to Cleo herself. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring her arm down, twist it the right way, and then we'll get everything kind of situated here. So her haircut is kind of like a, I call it the caring cut, where it's kind of that bob, the angles. Um, it is crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Um, I will definitely be washing this. I just have to figure out how to do it without messing it up because this is um, a tie tacked into her head, the headpiece here. Um, and I don't want to take that off because it won't ever stay back on again. Um, they do have a tie tack also here in the back of the head that has a rubber band. So that might help. I, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. But I love this headband. So you can see here we have some King Cobras course reminiscent of Hisset and the snakes kind of coming down on each side. I think those are going to act as the earrings because neither of these dolls actually has earrings, which is <sighs> kind of a bummer. But the molding alone on this headpiece is quite fantastic. So we have all these different cobras, a little diamond there in the back. The middle one, of course, has a crown. Phenomenally well done. A little bit of color would have been kind of fun, but you know, we of course then have Cleo's face mold, lovely, lovely face up here, teal, teal eyes, teal eyeshadow with a little bit of like a salmon pink color. And then of course her signature little jewel or, or sparkle there. Normal colored lips for Cleo. The only part of her outfit I don't like is this, this shoulder piece, because even when you put her arm down, it still sticks way out. Now you can move it like this and you'd have to rubber band it down, but then it sits crooked on her neck. So I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold on this. This may actually come off. 
<laughs> or I've, I might figure out something different to do with it. I'm not quite sure. It is rubber banded. It's not like it's permanent on there. Um, plus it keeps getting caught in this because this is just so crunchy. I don't particularly care for this part right here. I think it could have been better designed. Um, on this arm, she does have some mummy wraps. This is very reminiscent of many of Cleo's dolls, actually, including um, the original Honkateer doll. Uh, and I think, did she have it on... No, she just has a cape on the other Honkateer doll. Um, so, you know, we've seen this many, many times. <laughs> and it is kind of cliche because mummy and mummy wraps. But we all know the folklore when it comes to Cleo. So it makes sense. She does have on a um, one-piece outfit here underneath this skirt. You can see here. Um, but uh, it does have two different fabrics. So that is, I mean, maybe it's the same fabric material, but it is separately sewn. So we do have this kind of V-neck area here that has the black fabric that goes across her chest there. And then just a printed on fabric to make it look like the more geometric design on the back though look at this uh detachable skirt that velcros here at the waist beautifully done there's a little bit of glitter there in the fabric itself not applied onto it but actually in it made to look like the nile river beautiful 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 and then she has a separate uh, leg wrap here of a snake, which I did a rubber band to her leg because it wasn't rubber banded originally. And then some pretty basic shoes, just some mummy wrap shoes. I was not her. Sh she got skimped on the shoes. I think she could have had much better shoes, but they're not terrible. I've seen worse. <laughs> her other accessory is her purse, which I will take off here for a moment and lay Cleo down. Um, it is a pyramid shape here, two pyramids, um, one on top, one on the bottom. And it does open up, so you just have to undo the latch there. And then, of course, you can put whatever you want to on the inside of there if you even wanted to put anything. The top is a snake uh, that, of course, acts as the handle. So there is Cleo. All right, so now we'll take a look at Nephora. Beautiful, tall drink of water here. Look at those shoes. She has her signature teal hair, black mixed in, and gold tinsel. I boil washed mine, so I'm waiting for it to dry. Wonderful face mold. Look at that. Her headpiece is gorgeous. Her pet is, of course, represented there. Just gorgeously done. Very, 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 very nice. Her chest piece also I like better than Cleo's because it doesn't take away from the outfit and it doesn't impede the movement of her arms. So I do like that quite a bit. Her outfit is simple. It's a little one piece here connected in the mid uh, section there with some geometric designs, scarab beetles, snakes, gems, you name it. She also has a pyramid purse. You can see that there. On her arm, she has her teal mummy wraps and also some that hang off the back of the dress. She comes with a normal monster high stand. And of course here you can see she has some gorgeous shoes. I think her budget went to her shoes. We have cobra snakes some mummy wraps, some scarab beetles, all done in opaque gold plastic. Beautifully, beautifully done. Her face mold alone deserves some attention here. She has her tattoo. I love that on her. They gave her Claudine's claw hands. I thought that was an interesting touch. I'm not quite sure what the reasoning was behind that, but I am certainly not complaining. So very, very, very neat little touch there just to make her a little bit more <laughs> iconic <laughs> to use the monster high jargon. So beautiful set. Absolutely love them. I am thrilled to pieces to add them to my collection. Um, at this point, I am just thrilled that they are releasing G1 characters again. So, while I might not always like the whole design of it, I will most likely get them because, like I said, it's just neat to see some of these original characters come back to life in new takes. And this is definitely a new take and beautiful all the same. Everyone, of course, is entitled to their opinion. I am not telling anyone to buy or not buy based off of what I say. You buy and don't buy what you like and don't like. It's as simple as that. Um, sales are what will determine what they do next, not people screaming at the top of their lungs. Just going to leave that there. Okay. So, again, there they are. Beautiful set. We'll link to them down below. Hopefully, if you do get them, you enjoy them. If not, hopefully, wherever you buy them from has free returns. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any questions about this set or any other item on my channel, by all means, leave those in the comment section down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, make sure to hit the subscription button if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell. That way you know my videos do come out. All right, guys. We well, hope you enjoyed. Hope everybody's having an extra great day. We will see you real soon.